Big wave surfing is not a lifestyle, it's my life. Usually I get up really early in the morning because that's the best time for me for training. Last session my back got hurt a little bit, nothing serious though, but I have to stay out of the water for a couple of days. Our jet ski took some beating too, and it needs to be taken care of. Thank God I got Branco. That's what sand does to our... Stone grinder. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's a stone grinder. We spend a lot of time close to the beach, where there's even more sand in the water. Driving there means sand gets sucked in by the impeller. And that ruins it within the blink of an eye. Thank God for Branco, he's the best jet ski mechanic I've ever met. <laughs> That's where the magic happens. <laughs> yeah. Living right at the beach and seeing this wave break and not being able to surf, that really hurts. I'm feeling better though, and I hope my ski will be ready soon. During the days I was not able to be out there, she was firing from dusk till dawn. This place is like a wave machine. She delivers almost every day. God, I wish I could be out there. Sitting here and watching my friends being out there, that's kind of frustrating. <laughs>